Lawmakers heard testimony today in a special hearing on what's being taught in schools. One senator wants to keep critical race theory and sex education out of the classroom. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson was there and brings us the latest details in our top story tonight. Mackenzie? Three resolutions were discussed this afternoon, all related to parental involvement. Senators discussed for hours in long rounds of questioning. So to answer the question, who controls what is being taught, I call it big education, not any different than big pharma or big oil. That is who is deciding what is being taught and influencing our educators and having direct impact on our children. Senator Dave Merman, the chair of the Education Committee, called a special hearing on three resolutions he proposed. Each resolution deals with what's being taught in Nebraska's public schools. Merman says schools are using a teaching method called social-emotional learning and teachers are using the method to include ideas of critical race theory and sex education. But opponents say that's not true. Social-emotional learning is used to de-escalate children in school and help them learn how to deal with their emotions in a healthy way. During the hearing, Senator Danielle Conrad posed several questions for Merman and other testifiers. How would you propose that Nebraska educators um, teach about things like redlining or the Trail of Tears or the Holocaust or um, slavery without a discussion of race? No, those uh, issues definitely need to include a racial race element to uh, that discussion. Conrad then went on to say that similar legislation was passed in Florida and that has since gained national attention. Part of the curriculum changes there um, prompted things like learning materials that in indicated that slavery was a benefit to African Americans. Do you agree with that? <laughs> No, well, no. I mean, slavery is wrong. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Um, but, you know, hopefully we all benefit one way or another from our background. And, and I'm, not saying, I'm not saying specifically slavery. The three resolutions would all be added to a previous bill introduced by Merman called the Parent Bill of Rights and Academic Transparency Act. Parents need to be able to blow the whistle about inappropriate materials making their way into the classroom. This shouldn't be promoted by the Nebraska Department of Education. It shouldn't be taught under the name of SEL, CRT, or whatever acronym one might have to teach it. But a few testifiers say many of the things outlined in the resolutions are already part of state statute. I have seen a lot of national news coverage about schools in other states that is genuinely concerning. <coughs> I'm here to let you know that this is not the case, I feel, in Nebraska. You can read much more on the proposed legislation in this story on our website at klkntv.com. Mackenzie Johnson with our top story night. Thank you very much, Mackenzie.